Hello and welcome to Community Chats. I'm Ali Hammer and today we're interviewing Paul Robler, the Head of Platform and Security from VIX Technology. Paul, welcome to the show. Can you start by telling our audience a little bit about VIX? Sure. Uh, thank you for having me today. So uh, VIX is a 500 person technology company uh, focused on providing fair collection, uh, transit information and analytical solution for the public uh, transportation industry. Uh, VIX helps transit agencies manage fare collection by supplying automated fare collection systems ranging from smart card based to open account based systems that enable contactless payments. Um, and we provide on vehicle technology and from passenger information to fleet management. And then we have a layer of services uh, really to support these. Um, our key offices are in Perth, Australia, Cambridge, the UK and then in Seattle in the United States. But we do have a presence in several locations across the globe. Uh, VIX is about 35 years old uh, with more than 200 plus systems delivered across the globe. Well, I actually didn't realize that VIX is 35 years old and has over 500 people. That's incredible. And Paul, can you share with us a little bit about how VIX is working with AWS to actually support your customers? Absolutely. So uh, transit agencies are faced with operating highly traditional legacy businesses uh, with modern issues such as congestion. And uh, as such, we're seeing a move towards micro mobility and the broadening of mass transit. Uh, but trying new modes of transit into a, or tying new modes into transit into a cohesive network is highly complicated. Uh, with cloud, they can innovate at speed and they can operate at a price point that was really not possible before. Um, previously, also, these fair collection systems, they've been fully bespoke, very expensive, um, increasingly risky to operate, and then, of course, hard to protect from uh, cybercrime. VIX really needed to standardize the underpinning technology, um, simplifying the management, and then enabling agencies to really focus on that digital innovation piece and the wider experience. Um, so, as such, VIX has developed a modern state-of-the-art platform called Pulse uh, to serve the needs of these customers. Um, VIX, however, we, we do need to look after our existing customers as well, so not just the new ones. Um, so migration plans for all the legacy systems were developed, developed, and then, of course, we looked at how we can re-host them in the AWS cloud. Well, I'm so glad that we've been able to help you focus on innovation and that rider experience while we take care of the heavy lifting for you. So, Paul, I wanted to know, what has been your biggest challenge to date, and how has the cloud actually helped you guys overcome it? Yeah, great question. Um, I, I would say non-standardized uh, deployments. Um, it's it's been incredibly hard to to support some of the, uh, the the wide range of deployments on different platforms and data centers. Um, some of these data center providers also would see a bunch of major incidents throughout the years who haven't really been able to reach that stability we needed in the platform, where with AWS it really got us that 99.5% um, availability target state. Um, the other thing is uh, how we overcome, uh, overcame that was having a single code base running in the AWS cloud to allow us to move to a centralized uh, support model for cloud operations and engineering um, where we can really benefit from follow the sun. Um, and that really helped us reduce the typical side of, uh, size of the support team for these deployments by about 50%. Um, and we have five customers live on this platform now with two more coming across this year. Um, and all these customers are now benefiting from speed to value improvements. Uh, where previously these typical bespoke build projects could take several years to complete, um, but we can now deliver software mo modules uh, using our APIs and using some automations to build these in six to 12 months, um, which, is, which is really great. And then, of course, we're looking at the future to deploy some of these, uh, deploy our software almost out of the box, uh, you know, and covering about 98% of the requirements uh, doing so. Wow, that really is incredible and some amazing outcomes there. So, Paul, how does AWS help VIX create an enjoyable experience for your passengers? Uh, from a from a fair collection perspective, um, transit is very much evolving towards a uh, power in payment options. Passengers will always choose the most convenient uh, mode of travel and, and as such the most convenient way to pay as well. Um, enabling a range of payment options such as contactless EMV really simplifies the decision process for passengers. Um, equality is also very important. A agencies have an obligation to make transit accessible for all. Um, services must really address the range of needs uh, of all the riders. 
Um, many don't have smartphones or even bank accounts. Um, and the cloud has really enabled us to connect with retail networks to provide cash payments options um, or networks where they've really had a need to eliminate all cash on board. Wow, it's, it's amazing to hear because, you know, transit is certainly evolving and it's so great to see that VIX is empowering passengers with different payment options. I can still remember every time we crossed the bridge with my mom when I was a little girl, you know, putting the cash in and you think, oh, technology should get rid of all this, but it's cool that you've still got, you know, options in place that if you want to pay with cash, you really can. Absolutely. Paul, to round off this interview, what do the next couple of years look like for VIX? Yes, so uh, VIX, has, VIX has a digital roadmap in place to really enable us to better serve ridership across the globe. Um, VIX is really rising up to the challenge to keep supporting how cities um, are evolving. Um, and so VIX's core fare collection platform, Pulse, which we covered before, really provides that foundation for future innovations and uh, product development. And um, so future benefits enabled by the cloud specifically includes uh, data analytics, uh, where there's a lot of future value and utility in uh, the data we collect in our data lake. Uh, meaningful data is one of the biggest assets companies uh, have these days. And um, then there's API, so each customer has different systems to integrate as uh, the front office and mobility, mobile technology experience evolves. Um, and then there's open architecture, you know, being cloud-based means it's easier for Bigs to just make all the solutions we sell, uh, talk to each other and enable the same thing for the customers. And then lastly, uh, you know, future developments like uh, facial recognition, UWB, Bluetooth, and Beacons Biometrics may play a big role in uh, identifying passengers in the future. And uh, this is how the cloud enables us to better prepare for all of these. Paul, thank you so much for coming on the show. I always find it so interesting speaking to different customers and hearing about how you utilize the AWS cloud. So thanks so much. And if anyone has any questions, please pop them in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. Thank you so thank much. You very much. Thank you.